Hey, it's Alan Burnett from YourWeddingHub.com, and I want to welcome you back. I'm with Genev and, and Sarah from DreamGroup.ca. They are wedding professionals, and yesterday we started talking about why hire a planner. And I want to pick up on that, and then I want to talk to the ladies about how do you find a good planner? Like, how do you, how do you know that you, you've got the right person or right team working with you? So yesterday, ladies, we talked about the fact that you've got a good team of of, of vendors and service providers that you've developed and yeah. kind of put together. And I think that your uh, analogy, Jeanette, was awesome about, it's like building a house. The first time, you're gonna fire some tradesmen after that first house, you know, and the next time you're gonna, and, and I know that because I used to be in the building industry, <laughs> and, and, and you get a good crew or team together. And so that's a part of it, but I know that's just, a, that's one part of it. That's kind of one piece of the pie. Yeah. What else uh, makes a good planner? Well, uh, being able to listen, being able to hear what your client wants. You know, it's really easy to plan your own wedding in comparison to planning someone else's wedding. And what Now, there are a lot of people listening right now that are thinking, oh, I did it. And, and, and it was difficult. And, yeah. and yes, I mean, if you're doing it for the first time, sure, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's even more difficult trying to put together someone else's idea of their perfect wedding. And in order to do that well, you really need to be able to listen. You need to be able to take yourself out of the equation and to see the event through the client's eyes and through what they are hoping to achieve. Yeah. And you know, we hear time and time again, we hear from people who perhaps didn't have the best experience. Sometimes they come to us halfway mm -hmm. through where they've had to let a planner go and come back to us, perhaps where they were originally thinking dream group. We were a little bit more expensive than they wanted to spend. They went with somebody with a little less experience, unfortunately paid for it, um, and then came to us. And the complaints are, they didn't listen to me. They were planning their wedding, not planning our wedding. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they weren't accountable, no follow through, didn't, you know, false promises, that kind of thing. So another one is being accountable. You know, don't give, don't promise more of yourself, you know, as a planner, you know, know your limits, know what you can provide and, and follow through and sit and do what you're going to say you're going to do. Yeah. So let me jump in there, Genev, because you just touched on something that that I, I kind of want to pick up on, uh, you know, talking about someone that's maybe already hired a planner and, and hopefully brides and grooms, that's not you sitting there thinking, oh, I think I've got the wrong person working for me. How do you find the, the right planner, the right team when you, like right from the start? Yeah, well, I think you're definitely, when you sit down and, sorry, compatibility. Yeah, compatibility. When you sit down with um, your planner, you have a consultation, you're going to feel good with that person, you're going to have, have a connection. some chemistry. Yeah. Exactly, because you're going to be spending a lot of time Absolutely. with them, just like your photographer on the day, right? Yeah. Um, and you want to feel like you can be honest with that person and tell them what it is that you're thinking. One of the biggest things for us, uh, we always tell our couples is, you know, make sure that you communicate with us, that you feel like you can be honest with us, because you need to tell us if you don't like the vendor that we've sent you to or we're not going to be know, offended exactly. because that planner or that that vendor would have been perfect perhaps for somebody and maybe not for you and it's really important that you can communicate with the person and you know respect them yeah. trust them yeah. if you don't respect trust is a big one too huge yeah. you can't do it without trust because you know the you're you need not, to know that you've hired an, an experienced person that is going to that has your best interests at heart and that's going to be able to take you through a, a smooth planning process and who's going to represent you well because you can't be with them 24 7 so you need to know that the planner is going to be putting together a cast putting together a, a, a vision and, and carrying out your wedding on your behalf mm -hmm. with your wishes and your your, your needs and what you want for your wedding. Mm. Life, so so um, I think that the one thing that we should all get out of this today is it's just how important it is that there's, you know, we use the word chemistry. Um, you nailed it, Sarah, when you said that you're going to be spending a lot of time together yeah. and, and whether it's those service providers that, that the wedding planner connects you with or the wedding planners themselves, you, there, there's got to be some chemistry that happens there. Absolutely. A good friend of mine is a sales trainer and he said the very first thing in every sale is that there's got to be trust and, yeah. and some chemistry happening between. Mm -hmm. If they don't like you, uh, there's no sense talking anymore. <laughs> and so hopefully that helps you. We're going to come back tomorrow. And, and I want to talk about what does a wedding planner do? You know, we, we, we just kind of scratched the surface on that. But thanks for joining us on yourweddinghub.com. Check out uh, the ladies on dreamgroup.ca. And again, brides and grooms, post questions.
post your stories, maybe your frustrations. I'll get the ladies to answer it, but we're here for you because we want to help plan your wedding, and that's why it's yourweddinghub.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.